Get out of there. Are you Smokey Hammer? Yeah. Don't tell me this is a reception committee. Yeah, it is. The music starts in just a minute. All right, driver, beat it. I just creased my shoulder. Smokey! Tom! Well, it was a lucky break for me having you come along. Not so sure of that. How's your shoulder? Well, it's still glued to my arm. One thing I always do is carry water. I... Well, burn me for a butcher. <laughs> Smokey Hammer. Hello, Fuzzy. Uh, thought you said you was going to meet us at the Bar BX Ranch. Mighty nice, you fellas. Come down here. Well, as soon as I got your letter, I dropped everything. Thought it'd be kind of nice to go back to the ranch for a while. Tom, I'm... I got a hunch it's not going to be so nice. Why? Those bandits weren't after my money. No? No, there was a Wells Fargo box full of cash on that stage, and they never even touched it. Doesn't make sense. Well, maybe they reform bandits. No, I think it was me they were after. After you? Yeah. You see, I own a half interest in the Bar BX Ranch. That's why I wrote for you fellas to come down here to help me run it. I'll save your story till we get this shoulder fixed. Come on. Yeah, yeah. The Barbie X ranch belonged to my father, Jeffrey Hammer. He was murdered when I was just a kid. Yes, I remember you talking about it. Didn't you have a sister? Yes? Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll show you a picture of her. A oh, mighty pretty girl. I take it that's your father. Yeah. Our mother died when Tess was born. <laughs> you look just like your father. Well, yeah, it is kind of close. What happened to your sister? Well, as far as I know, she was raised by the foreman of the Bar BX after Dad was killed. I never heard a word from her. I wrote her that I was coming down here, but she didn't get the letter, eh? What makes you say that? Just a hunch. If somebody's interested in keeping you away from the Bar BX ranch, somebody might have been reading mail that didn't belong to him. Well, I never thought of that. You know, Smokey, I have an idea that you ought to stay dead for a while. Uh, you mean a corpse? Oh, sort of. I have a hunch the man who killed your father tried to kill you. Now, if we let him think you're dead, maybe he'll show his hand. You know, Tom, I think you've hit something. I hope so. Anyway, it's healthier for you to keep away from the Bar BX for a while. Fuzzy, go get your spade. Now you're uh, talking. While Smokey's playing dead, we can dig for gold. 
Uh, start digging right here. Yes. Tom, any lop-eared maverick can tell you there ain't no gold here. No gold, Fuzzy. Smokey's grave. Smokey's underneath the ground. We put him where he won't be found. Let's drink a toast to Smokey's ghost. Smokey's underneath the ground. Underground. 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 We put him where he never will be found. Underground. Oh, he won't get hurt under six feet of dirt. Smokey's underneath the ground. <laughs> Boy, that, that grave's going to be lonesome without a ghost to haunt it. <laughs> Maybe we'll let you be the ghost. Uh, 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 me? No, you don't. No, sir. <laughs> Come on, we've got to find a hiding place for Smokey. You don't like paying toll, Johnson. Just a moment, please. Since when do ranchers have to pay toll to pass through my father's rangeland? That's our job. I'm glad you came, Miss Tess. Why, it's a crime to charge toll here. This route's the only route us ranchers can take to move our cattle to market. And after we get through paying toll, there isn't anything left to live on. Ain't long, route. So who cares? If I do that, most of the cattle will die before they reach market. That's nothing but wasteland and no water. Return Mr. Johnson's money at once. Can't do that, ma'am. I've got orders. Ringo, you're fired. That won't do any good, ma'am. Your father will send another man right here to collect toll. You're pretty smart, Johnson. Looks like trouble. Come on. Howdy, Miss Tess. Anything wrong? Johnson here squawking about paying toll. I ain't never heard you complain any, Mr. Harkness. No, that's true, Ringo. I'm glad to run my cattle through Boulder Pass. That's very kind of you, Mr. Harkness, but it isn't fair. It certainly isn't. Well, now, I reckon your father knows what he's doing, Miss Tess. I'm going to speak to him about it right now. the girl. Now that we've got rid of Smokey Hammer, we might as well get rid of the rest of the family. Clayton's not going to like that. Who's giving orders? Umbry don't look like a fellow just out riding with his gal. No. I've always had a hankin' for new faces, especially behind masks. You go after the girl, I'll take care of our friend.
Then let's see what's behind that bandana. I keep telling you, I didn't try to hold you up. No, you only tried to kill me. Well, uh, shucks, I wouldn't shoot a lady. Oh, I'm not a lady. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, sure you are. You, we, all right, uh, oh, go ahead and lynch me. Shucks, I never did win an argument with a woman. No, and you never will. Now you touch me. Somebody to prove that I'm not a bandit. Hey, Tom, will you tell this female cat who I is? Do you know him? Never saw him before in my life. So, oh. just as I thought. Before the law is through with you, you'll be sorry you ever came to the Barbie X ranch. Lady, you ain't fooling. Barbie X, is this your ranch, man? It's my father's. Who's your father? Sidney Clayton. I'm Tess Clayton. There's the sheriff. He'll take care of you. I beg your pardon, ma'am, but this is all a mistake. Hmm? I... Howdy, Miss Tess. Who's that you got hogtied? A bandit, and you're just in time. Bandit, huh? Stagecoach driver reported being held up. Outlaws killed a man by the name of Smokey Hammer. We've been searching for the murderers everywhere. Say, maybe this hombre helped kill Smokey. Sorry to disappoint you, Sheriff, but this here's my buddy, Fuzzy Jones. I thought you said you didn't know this man. I was only joking. Well, it's no joke to me, and I'm going to hold you both under suspicion of murder. Now, what did you do with the body? The body? Oh, yes. We buried it. Oh, then you admit that you killed Smokey. No, Smokey was my best friend. Here, this will prove it. Well, I guess you're telling the truth, stranger. Tell me, what did you mean when you said you buried the body? Well, we saw the murder being committed, but we were too late to do anything about it. But after it was all over, we thought it'd be too bad to leave lying there to be eaten up by the buzzards. So we dug him a grave up beyond Boulder Pass. You mean I dug it? You're telling the truth, all right. We saw a fresh dug grave up there, but you should have reported it first. Sorry, Sheriff, I meant to, but we saw somebody trying to hold up this young lady. Probably the same outlaws that killed Smokey. I kind of think so myself. I'll find those outlaws if it's the last thing I do. Well, I'll be on my way. Goodbye. Join you folks for a while? Sorry things turned out this way, miss, but with Smokey gone, Fuzzy and I are out of a job. Yeah, just a poor starving critter, that's me.
coach was held up and a man named Smokey Hammer was murdered. Murdered? Yes, these gentlemen were friends of his. They tried to save his life, but it was too late. Oh, is that so? Then I was shot at by a bandit, but Mr. Cameron here, Mr. Jones, chased him away. Well, I'm mighty grateful to you two, and if there's anything I can do to replace... I've already shown my gratitude by offering them jobs on the ranch. Tess, you know we can't afford to hire any more men. But, Dad, this is different. Very well, since you've promised them, I suppose I'll have to give them a job. Thank you. Hey. Dad, another thing. About that toll charge at Boulder Pass. No, not now, Tess. I'm too busy. Explain to them their duties, will you? Well, I know we can use a good cook. Can you cook? No, but he can. Well, we can only pay about... Well, that's enough. I can't work for that. Gil. It's Clayton. He must have come here about the girl. You got those circulars ready? Well, almost. We'll make it snappy. And stop being so nervous. Yes. Hello, Sid. Hello, Gil. Take a seat, I'll deal you in. No, thanks. Gil, I thought we agreed not to kill Smokey Hammer. Well? He's dead. Not only that, somebody tried to kill Tess. Uh, yeah, so the sheriff was telling me. He stopped here a while back. Darn shame about Smokey Hammer. You know, the agreement was that you were just to scare him so he'd go back to where he came from. Why'd you kill him? Accidents happen, Sid. Besides, what difference does it make? He's better off dead than alive. I told you before I didn't want anything more to do with murders. After the first one, Sid, the others don't mean anything. You killed old Jeff Hammer, not me. You're in this thing, up to your neck. So don't get church going with me. As long as you do as I say, you'll continue to live as a rich, retired rancher. Otherwise, you're just going to retire, like old Jeff. You got those circulars there, Jake? Yes, sir. Here. Read this. Notice to ranchers. Toll right through Boulder Pass goes up beginning August 2nd. Said Clayton. That's tomorrow. You can't do that, Gil. The ranchers are grumbling about the rate we're charging them now. <laughs> Let them grumble. Of the Barbie X own Boulder Pass? And who's running the Barbie X? Yours truly. But listen, Gil, you can't... This notice stands. Charlie Andrews is coming through with a thousand head of cattle tomorrow. That's going to mean a lot of toll money, see. Now, here. You better get these around. No on second thought, I think I'll have Jake do it. As a matter of fact, Sid, for your own safety, I'm going to have Jake stay at the Barbie X. Now, you better run on along home. Oh, by the way, Sid. Uh, tell Ted that I'm coming over to see her tonight. I'm going to stay for supper. You know, I've always had a hankering for your daughter. I'll tell her, but I don't know how she'll welcome me this time, Gil, because, you know, my daughter has ideas of her own. Well, uh, you just tell her. <laughs> you know, the way he acted, you think Tess Hammer really was his daughter. Say, hey, Gil. Suppose the gal finds out that Clayton's not her mother. Yeah, well, she won't. And besides, she's going to be changing the name to Harkness pretty shortly. Here, get back to work. All right, boys, deal a card.
The letter S. I wonder what that means. Sunshine Valley And the lowing cattle grazing all the day I can see a rippling stream in Sunshine Valley Where I used to dream a while the time away When round of time is over, over hill and dale I'll roam back to home sweet home Sunshine Valley, where I used to dream and while the time away, when the round of time is over, over hill and dale, I'll roam back to home sweet home, I'll win my way, cause the grass is always green in Sunshine Valley. Tell me. I'm not your boss. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Well, Mr. Clayton, I was tacking up this poster when the shooting started. It was just like if said the spirits had just... Well, go on. Mr. Clayton is listening. Oh, yeah. Well, just as soon as the shooting stopped, I snuck around and looked at the poster. This is what I found. The letter S. What do you think of it, Harkness? All right, see, somebody don't like the idea of paying you more toll. If I were you, I'd take it up with the sheriff. Clayton, do you believe in ghosts? No, of course not. Well, I do. What's that got to do with what we're talking about? It seems to me that S stands for something. Oh, sure. The 19th letter in the alphabet. Education sure is wonderful. I think it stands for Smokey, Smokey Hammer. You're crazy. Why don't you mind your own business? Harkness is right, Cameron. Keep your fool ideas to yourself. Yes, sir. Well, I, I think I'd better go. Thanks for the supper, Miss Tess. You are. Good night, Sid. Good night, Gail. Good night. Uh, hey, Jake, you mind holding me? Uh, have you got a match? Sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's kind of nervous, don't he? All right, you two get busy and clean up those broken dishes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah? What is it? You know that fellow that was telling me about the ghost? Yeah? He's the one that kept me from running down the gal. I thought there was something I didn't like about him. Well, keep an eye on him, Jake. I wonder who shot up that notice. Oh, you don't suppose it was really Smokey's ghost? Ah, you fool. No, I didn't get a good look at his face. Did you, Mr. Cameron? No, I didn't see anything. Maybe I better go have a look. You better go back in the house. Be careful, Dad. 
Tom, you don't believe in ghosts, do you? No, but Jake does. Smokey makes a pretty smart ghost. So the toll goes up tomorrow, eh? We better speak to Smokey about that. Hey, Tom. Smokey. Uh, Fuzzy, get out behind the house and keep your eyes open. Uh -huh. You shouldn't have come here, Smokey. It's dangerous. You're likely to be shot on sight. Yeah, I know that, but I wanted to show you this, Tom. Oh, yes, I know about that. Here's another one. <laughs> Felt more like putting my initial on that Umbry's hide. Say, Tom, wasn't that girl Tess? Yes, but we can't talk about that now. Yeah, but what about this toll business? I've got an idea on that, too. I'll tell you about it later. Hey, but Tom, Clayton's in the back of the house. Uh, go outside and start a rumpus. I got you. The girl's coming, Smokey. Hide behind the desk. Prairie girl of my dreams, heaven brought you, it seems. Sweet Susanna, my flower so rare. I was thrilled. Oh, please, Jeff, stop. You're a fine boy. Oh, thank you, ma'am, but I don't think your friend Harkness likes it very much. Mr. Harkness has known this house. Well, with your permission, I'll go right on singing then. I was thrilled from the start when you lassoed my heart. Sweet Susanna, my... All right, Smokey, beat it. it sounded like it came from the barn. Where is he? He's hiding in the barn. Come out, you yellow-bellied varmint, or you're going to be deader than a bare rut. Whoever you are, come out with your hands high. Don't shoot. I ain't done nothing, Clayton. I was just a snoozing. Uh, uh, did uh, you say you were just a snoozing? Well, yeah. Hmm. Well, how can you sleep with uh, <clears throat> Smokey's ghost prowl around? Do you really think that uh, he's a haunting? Well, there's no use of setting your nerves around here. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, come on, I'll tell you a story that'll calm you down. Well, that'd be good. Hey, how do you feel? What's that story? Well, once upon a time, there was a little gal named White Riding Hood. Yeah. Now, uh, the reason she was called Little White Riding Hood is because she was Little Red Riding Hood's ghost. Oh, well, now, <clears throat> what? one day, the ghost, that Little Red Riding Hood's ghost, yeah. came in to visit her. And, of course, Little Red oh. Riding Hood, she was awfully scared. But that didn't do any good. She just started to back up. And she backed. Hey, did you ever have a ghost visit you? No. No, no. let me... Well, it don't do any good because you just keep backing and backing and backing until... You... What happens? What you catch him? Well, the big wolf comes in. I... Be surprised, Ringo, if someday you don't find life a little shorter. Yeah. I'll take that money. All right, Intel Clayton. Are you Andrew? Yes. Here's your toll money. 
Why? I don't understand. There's nothing to understand. It's your money, isn't it? Just don't say anything to anybody. Hey, who are you? He sure can't be one of Clayton's men. Hey, let's get it. That money came straight from heaven, I guess. Say, Tom, when am I going to see Tess? Soon, today, maybe. We got to break this to a gentle, you know. Yeah, what burns me up is Clayton posing as her father and getting away with it. They're heading in this direction. You better stay here. I'll give them a ride for their money. something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? Will you marry me? Mr. Harkness, I don't know what to say. Naturally, I'm flattered, but I don't love you. Well, I... I've been kind of hoping that you'd learn to. Oh, Tess, darling. i got to talk to you. Now, there's no use getting sore. I'm perfectly willing to do anything you want about our wedding. You can have a large wedding or a small one. Personally, I think we ought to have a large one, don't you, mister? Hey, look here. Then we can invite all the ranch folks. But who? Yeah, I thought of that, too. Who would come to the wedding with your father charging all that toll money? I wish he wouldn't do that. It's not good for a young couple like us to start out married life with everybody hating us. Miss Tess, who is this man? Why, I... How dare you come here? I've never now, even... don't seen... get upset, sweetheart. I know you don't like me talking this way about your father, but... Well, right's right. I don't know what you're talking about. Mister, would you mind leaving us alone for a moment? You know, two's company, three's a crowd. Don't go, Mr. Harkness. Now you get out of here right this minute. Oh, now, sweetheart, you know you don't mean that. I don't know this man. I've never even seen him before. Well, what have you got to say to that? Why, she's just hysterical. Women often get that way, especially before they're married. Well, of all the nerves. Now, look here, you. I can't explain right now, Tess, but that Harkness umbrella is no good. Now you get off this ranch. The real hammer spirit. Thanks, mister. Don't thank me. You heard what the lady said, didn't you? Come on, get up. Come on. Come on, you. Get out of here. You're taking a big chance coming here, Smokey. I just want to get a good look at sis. Tom, I don't like her being mixed up with those coyotes. Yeah, I know. But don't worry. Yeah, but Harkness wants to marry her. Oh, he does, does he? Well, I reckon it's about time we put Tess Wise the thing. You leave it to me. All right. Kind of a snoop and ornery looking hombre, wasn't he? Oh, I don't know. There's something about him. I, I can't explain. Well, there's something I can explain. Cameron, from now on, you mind your own business. Shooting a man in the back is always stuck on my craw. Yeah. Well, ranch hands should be seen and not heard. That's right, Miss Tess. Bandits held us up at Boulder Pass. They took all of the toll money. Bandits? When did this happen? A while ago. I tried to reach you at the house. Never but... mind that. I'm not your boss. Why didn't you come here and tell Mr. Clayton? 
Well, I was going to... Oh, go get the sheriff. I sent Muley after him. Fine. Well, come on. Maybe we can still hit him off. I wonder who is boss around here. you come in. I'm afraid your father doesn't like me. No, he's just worried. He doesn't mean anything by it. No. Tom, what did you mean when you said you wondered who was boss around here? Well, that's a long story, Miss Tess, but I think it's time you ought to know it. Come on, sit down. Do you know anybody in that picture? You're looking at your father, your brother, and yourself. What do you mean? That's Jeff Hammer, that's Smokey Hammer, and that's you, Tess Hammer. Do you know what you're saying? Yes, ma'am, I do. But Smokey is dead. I know he ain't. I'm fixing some vittles for him right now. And is it good? Now to get back to our story. You see, about 15 years ago, your father, Jeff Hammer, and Mr. Clayton were partners in business. Any luck? Thanks, but we haven't seen hide nor hair of them since. Well, do something. There's too much lawlessness in Elmira County. Hey, mister, I'm a sheriff, not a magician. We shouldn't have boosted the toll rate in the first place. Shut up. That toll rate stands. And Ringo, if you can't use a gun, I'll get somebody who can. Now get back to Boulder Pass. And that's the entire story. Like a nightmare after all these years. Here's Smokey's dinner. How'd you like to take this out to your brother? I'd love it. Then let's hurry. Tell him hello for me, will you? just going to look for you. Why? Smokey Hammer's alive. <laughs> You're crazy. What have you been drinking? Cameron said so. I even heard him tell the girl she was Smokey's sister. Cameron, eh? That's right. What are you going to do? Plenty. First, I'm going to see what's buried in that grave up beyond Boulder Pass. If Smokey Hammer ain't there, I don't know who stole that toll money. Don't you think we'd better wait till tonight? We don't want anybody to catch us fooling around that grave acting like ghouls. Yeah. Tonight. Come on.
she is, Smokey. Hello, Tess. Hello, Smokey. I have so much I want to say, I don't know where to start. Yeah, I feel the same way. Well, suppose you begin by getting some food inside of you and talk it over while you're eating. Well, you may have something, Carl. What a funny-looking thing I was. But you were kind of cute. Yeah. Smokey, you were kind of cute at that. Why, you... <laughs> A little bow-legged, but cute. <laughs> it's fuzzy. Hey, hey, Tom. Uh, I caught Jacob sneaking in a peeking when you were talking to Miss Tess about Smokey. Now Harkness and Clayton know that Smokey ain't dead. Leastwise, they're going out to the grave tonight and dig it up to make sure. This time, they're sure to kill you, Smokey. We've got to tell the sheriff. Not yet. We've got a job to do first. What do you intend to do, Tom? Well, at the moment, I don't know. Let's all sit down and try and figure it out. Jake, start digging. Who? You! Come on, get busy. What if Smokey ain't there? Oh, me. Well, then this grave is just big enough for Cameron. We'll dig another for Smokey later. This time a permanent one. All right, faster. All right. And you said Smokey Hammer is alive. You blubbering idiot. Bringing me on this wild goose chase. Throw the dirt back. Stop! What's the matter? You. He moved. Ah, you're crazy. Better than a cold storage heifer. If I hear any more of this stupid talk, I'll bury you with Smokey Hammer. That bum liquor you've been drinking is making you see things. We gotta get Smokey out of there. You leave that to me. <clears throat> what was that? I don't know, and I don't care to stay here to find out. Me too. Come on, get busy. Get this over with quick. Trap the shovel. Well, that's as close as I'm going to get to being buried for a long time. I'm afraid you'll have to go on playing dead, though. I'd feel a lot better if Harkness and Clayton were in jail. Yeah, what are we fooling around about? Why don't we turn over to Sheriff? Don't forget, we haven't any evidence as to who killed his dad. That's right. Even if we jailed Clayton and Harkness, nobody could prove either one of them killed him. But one of them did. We'll have to go right on raiding Boulder Pass and returning the money to the ranchers. Miss Tess, you can help us by bringing information as to when cattle's to move through the pass. All right, Fuzzy, fill up the grave. Fifteen hundred head going through tomorrow. Good. I'll have a couple of my boys there.
It's one of them bandits. So that's where the told money goes to. Right back to the ranchers. Well, it's too late to do anything now. Yeah? Seems kind of funny, Sid. But those bandits know whenever the cattle goes through. You ain't getting soft and double-crossing me, are you? Harkness, you know I wouldn't do anything like that. Well, not much if you knew you could get away with it. Well, what are you going to do? I got an idea. Jake, tomorrow I want you to run some of my cattle through the pass and pay toll. Nobody will know whose cattle they are. You get that, Sid? No one. Any news? Yeah, small cattle at noon, but I couldn't find out whose they are. It's all right. We'll be there. that money. Go get it. Are, friend. Up with your hands, friend. Get off that horse. So you thought you could double cross us, eh? Cameron, I'll admit this is a pretty clever trick on your part, Harkness. Thanks. I reckon your partner is that cook at the Bar BX. Yeah, but it was Clayton who hired us. Clayton? I wouldn't fall for that. Suit yourself. Clayton's conscience is beginning to trouble him, I guess. Old Jeff's ghost has given him nightmares. Why, the dirty double crossing weasel, I... There's one of your men, Sheriff. Yeah, I kind of thought it was. Well, mister, the law is the law, and I got to carry it out to the letter. But I know a lot of people down in Elmira County is going to be very sorry to see you behind prison bars. Well, I reckon you won't be needing me anymore. No. You can run along and tell your friend Clayton his toll money will be safe from now on. <laughs> That's what I was just going to do. Sheriff, how'd you like to get the man who murdered old Jeffrey Hammer? Say, I've been wanting to do that for years, even before I was sheriff. Well, then we got that quick. What do you mean, we? You seem to forget you're my prisoner. You don't have to let me out of your sight for a minute. All right, Cameron. I'll take you on your honor. Gone if he don't look like old Jeff himself. It's a perfect likeness. <laughs> sure glad to see you're alive, Smokey. Thank you, Sheriff. I think we'd better get going. Howdy, 
Howdy, Mr. Harris. Howdy, Sheriff. For a Smokey. Well, Smokey, I reckon that disguise is mighty near surefire. Why, Smokey. That's right, Tess. There's no time to explain right now, but I think you better stay here until we come back. Cameron and his pal to hijack that toll money. Why, you're, you're loco. Yeah? You mean I was loco, trusting you. I should have got rid of you long ago. Listen, Gil, you've got me all wrong. After all, it's just like you. Where's the rest of that toll money? I haven't got it. I'm going to give you just two minutes to come through. Listen, I'll swear to you. Cameron's pal. Have you seen anything of him? Well, no, I haven't. But if I do, I'll bring him into you. Oh, thanks. Say, you'd make a mighty fine sheriff. Oh, I'm just doing my duty as an honest, upstanding citizen. All right, men. Scatter out and keep your eyes open. Ah! Jeff, it can't be! What was that? Say, that sounds like Clayton. Let's take a look. Gil! Gil Hartman! All these years, I've waited for this chance, Sid. Jeff. You not only took my ranch, you tried to claim Tess as your daughter. I did it for you, Jeff. I took care of Tess after you were... I mean, after you, you disappeared. D disappeared? You thought you killed me. No. No, not me. It wasn't me, Jeff. Harkness, he did it. Harkness did it. Keep oh. it over, Jake. All right, get over there. Now you move over.
All right, Sheriff. There's your man. Good work, Tom. All right, men, pick him up. I've been waiting here for hours. Where have you been? Sorry, Miss Test. We have a little unfinished business to take care of with Mr. Harkness and his friend. Yep, we got them all cooped up in the jailhouse. They're waiting for us to come down and testify. Now, let's hurry. Mm. Forgot I made that myself. I'm the law. 